Look at the frack on that thing! Holy hell! Yo! Yo, Buck! Dude, that's awesome. Does the water look like it's changed at all? I wonder if they did something with the gate that caused the change in the fishing. Uh -huh. Let out or let in. I'm trying to look and see. I don't see where it came out. I don't see a watermark. No, I no, neither do I. I don't see a drop. It could have come off. But then there'd be stuff floating around it did. Yeah, you'd see debris fields. Come on, fish. I'm tempted to wrap this thing up and go to and just smash them. You want to? Oh, man, it's. I. I think I'm a de. I, mean, I think I'm a decent fisherman. I just can't understand how. I'm a decent fisherman. I'm an okay fisherman here. I can't understand what's going on. The bite seemed a lot better, right? With no current. With no current. Yep. The current started to pick up. You, you, Dan, you noticed it before I noticed it. Mm -hmm. And. The fishing got not, it's not as good, right? So, you know, that's the funny thing. Like, you assume current's always a good thing, but maybe in, you know, because we have cold front conditions, maybe it's not. You know, those fish feel that water falling. For crying out loud, they only got four feet of water to begin with. Probably. So, maybe that's caused them to neutralize. Clam up. Yeah. yeah. It was on a motorbike, but it had a sidecar. You know those things? <laughs> Well, were, were you hurt physically? Well, sort of. I was also hurt by his words. <laughs> well, that's a completely different... <laughs> Should I sue you then? <laughs> sue you people? Mm. For what? <laughs> Spit it about a thing called the chug bug. Ooh, it landed just nice. You hear that land? It's usually when you get bit, but it just lands like that. I'm oh. snakehead, dude. That's a look. Oh, good one? Yeah. Oh, damn, dude. Oh, nice. It's good fish. Oh, yeah. Oh. To, I guess it's back to doing this again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I think wow, I'm... we went a long dry spell. Huh? Yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. Got a couple of spots on them. Yeah. Look at that. Very similar. Smaller, you know, a yeah. smaller log. Four, five on depth, right? Mm -hmm. So deeper water. Yeah. Maybe that's a sign of things to come. So you know, your mind starts to wander. Yeah. You, know, you, you think you have something figured out, and then you get in a, a rut. And it could have been as simple as an area. It could have been. Yeah. Well, we just kept on going that way. Yeah. Yeah. And you get in a rut, and you start to second guess yourself. You know. Because then we got what, like five foot of water? Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah, three. Four, four feet, four and a half foot here. So. Yeah. And that makes sense. Yeah. I guess we gotta stick with the pattern and just continue on. Might have to. Yeah. Or at least one of us should be doing this at all well, times. Well, I'm <laughs> So Dan, this is, you know, we're catching most of them low and tight. They're not really hunting or chasing, and it's typical of a cold front in fresh water. Mm -hmm. Give me your, what's, what's the analogy in salt water? Do, do some of the salt water species act the same during cold fronts, bluebird? What, what happens there? So what, yeah. what, what's gonna happen is a lot of your flats, any flat you see in fresh water so bluegills will be absent yeah just empty hydrilla beds yeah salt water same thing you get a high pressure system that moves in and it just forces everything down uh yeah. they won't they won't yeah. really shut down right you know because they're not affected that much by it but you can definitely see everything until you get some cloud cover moving in and some yeah. of that pressure lifting you know then the fish will go shallow again right but yeah bluebird skies yeah. high pressure so similar deep. movement to what we're seeing. Today. Similar movements what we're seeing. And, and we're only in four foot of water here. So yeah, Mike was relative. saying that like, yeah. you know, since they can't suspend, they're just hugging the mud and just relating very close to something. So everything we're getting, we're just flipping over a piece and they're hugging the mud on the bottom. They yeah. can't suspend the channel. It's, it's like two feet deep, you know? Yeah. So they're just hugging the mud, four foot of water. You know, I'm sure there's plenty of little crevices in the bottom for them to kind of dig into. Yeah. I guess exactly what's going down here. Yeah, we're essentially carp fishing today. Yeah, we're carp <laughs> yeah. fishing with lures. Yeah, we're carp fishing with lures. Yep. Is it? It's an eel. It's gotta be a snakehead. 
It's a catfish. No, no it's a snakehead. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah! Ah! Yeah! Oh, yeah! 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 Dude. Yeah! 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 Dude, I mean on a chatterbait on the reeds. Oh, look at that. Yeah! Dude, that is so cool. Dude. Look at that. That Listen, is so awesome. A lot of people despise these things, Dan. A lot of people hate them. A lot of people love them. I love them. I think, I think here's the thing. When these first got in these systems yeah. 15 years ago, people were scared. And I get it. Uh huh. But they have not disrupted the native population at all. Yeah. It's an amazing game fish. It's an amazing fighter. And if you like to eat fish, dude. No, I hear they're good. That's yeah. the deal. Yeah. Look at the color on it. I mean, like, the skin, the texture of the skin's like crazy. Look at the striping on it. And look at that broad tail. Dude, no, that's... they're all propulsion. Oh, yeah. The entire body. Yeah. And this is an ancient fish. you got to remember, in the in the scheme of the age of fish, Yeah. dude, this is an old Early. One. This is early yeah. because it has gill structure mm -hmm. and it has lung structure. Yes. So very, very cool. It's how yeah. dated all these millions of years. It can breathe air. It can, you know, if you've caught these things, you know how tough they are. But gorgeous fish, man. Now, this gorgeous thing's fish. cool. No, people do. People love these fish. Yeah. Um, I can see why. That was a great hit. Great, awesome hit. Yeah. Almost like a top water, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Look at those teeth. Those fangs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that. All around. Oh, they're nice. See that inner inner line of yep. fangs? Got a pretty strong mouth, man. Yeah, that thing is awesome. Sick. Yes! Yeah. Awesome, dude. Yes! That was definitely a bonus. I mean... That's great. We're out here bass fishing, but this to me is exciting because I don't catch that many each yeah. year. You know, so it's a very cool catch. Oh. We got it, we got it. oh god oh my god oh my god oh my god oh yeah nice dude awesome look at that oh that's, oh, that's a big yeah. one. Oh, dude, look at that one bro yeah that's a good three that's that's, that's a three pounder yeah. yeah that's really good ah. yeah look at that that's good fish i mean they're eating it when it when yeah. it looks like that. They're Pretty eating pleasant it. Pretty pleasant out too, dude. Wow. You. When you see them eating something like that, there's no doubt you're throwing the right bait, the right color combination, the right weight. That's a good fish. Yeah. This is awesome. awesome. Look at that. Stay the fish, bro. Stay the course. <laughs> no, no kidding. Stay the course. I'm I got to tell you that sometimes as fishermen, you want to you want to be dialed so much you you want to know where every fish is going to come and i think we found a pattern but on cold front days sometimes you got to cover a lot of water and that really was the theme today it was like put your bait in the water keep it wet cover a lot of water make a thousand casts yeah 20 out of uh one out of 20 trees one out of 20 or one out of 40 trees yeah maybe more like it but it's not a bad bass yeah che bello essere belli ma non lo so se farvi vedere i crank va bene vi faccio vedere i crank yeah Yo! this is my man right here this is the guy I fish with what's up sai che è con Ellie che ormai è di casa ok parliamo di crank ok adesso that's the guy in Italy yeah cool cat how's your Italian Charles what's he saying they must have opened that gate. We're getting an inch of rain on this one. Yeah. Maybe that's why. Maybe. Maybe we're preparing for I'm the best. 15 years. Are oh, the walleye guys? Oh. We were one of the first podcasts to have that I tournament that. director on. Guy snipped them out. We were like, how the f We got wasted fish! <laughs> we got wasted <laughs> <laughs> It's like Chris Farley. Frank what, what, what's this for? It's a Fritz side by Berkeley. Is that right? So it's flat side style crankbait, just yeah. very quiet quiet for a crankbait you know dude i was listening to your podcast bro and you're like you're like i don't know i threw the tungsten and weights like you know i, I didn't know the cost that much i didn't <laughs> you're like you're like this stuff's expensive <laughs> yeah somebody somebody got on there like a dollar a piece i do this it's i'm like what you're like what is it that much what do we do? oh that looked like something chasing yeah oh guess what GoPro battery dead. Oh, Shocker. Cool what a tough day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Sun is starting to set, and uh, I don't know. We're 
we're a football field away from the boat ramp. Dude, it was a fun, tough, challenging, rewarding day. First of all, thank you for coming freshwater fishing. With oh, me. man. It absolutely. felt so good to be able to turn the tide <laughs> and have you in my boat yeah. instead of me in your boat. So that was awesome. Yeah. But um, it was a good learning lesson. Like, all these videos we're shooting, it's, you know, we're not out practicing, nothing set up. It's mm -hmm. like real life. And it was interesting to see what happened today. Developing a pattern, but then all of a sudden watching the current, you know, the current, the water getting sucked down, made these fish neutral. I mean, that's the reality of yeah, what it's happened. It's going right by right now. Um, yeah, Shooting out yeah, of here. We, we are so far back, we couldn't see that the current had turned on um, probably a little bit after we left the dock. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we didn't realize it probably shut a lot of these fish down. But I'll tell you what, for a, for a bad day of fishing, we caught a lot of fish. Caught a lot yeah, of fish. Yeah, it's not bad. It's it, you know, we certainly didn't get a skunk. Yeah. Um, but definitely a learning experience. You know, there's, there's always something you can grab from these trips. Always something you can. Yeah. Grab. You know, for me, current on wood like this, your mind thinks this is what you want. Sets the fish up. Mm -hmm. But in the late fall, after a cold front, the current and the falling water, rapidly falling water, yeah, hurt us. Those fish got freaky. Yeah, like they did. It wasn't bringing food anymore. It was just kind of being discomfort. For yeah, them discomfort, scared to get yeah. beached high and dry, right? Let's yeah. let's get away from let's the Let's get bank. away from that. It's like they're cold, but they have to expend energy to, to fight the current. So they're yeah. going to be getting behind something maybe in the center, maybe suspended, but just not doing a whole lot of anything. Yeah. Just kind of chilling out. Yeah. But, yeah, we saw a beautiful eight-point buck today. Cross saw the, a buck? Cross the, cross the river. Saw a beaver. And you know I love I pre Dude, appreciate thanks. you sharing a boat with me. Yeah, man. Two promises. Will you promise to let me back on your boat? Hopefully Thursday. Okay. Will I'm you... trying to get you before you go away. Okay. Yeah. And will you promise to come back on my boat for another freshwater session? Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. All right. Yeah. There you have it. Dan the Man, Salem Canal, late fall fishing, cold front. We got a duck boat coming. See you later. Hope you enjoyed it. Duck boat. be here with Vegas is just awesome to watch him in a new environment so that's a big part of fishing so um, we did that all morning we got just about oh wait he's hooked up he's hooked up oh my we're god we're live oh my god we're live oh.